fractions on a number line. Alright, let's start off by looking at some vocabulary. We have three words that we definitely want to take a look at. The first word is the word fraction. And a fraction names part of a whole or part of a group. So anytime you have a group of something that you're looking at, you can identify that as a fraction. The next word is the word numerator. And the numerator is how many equal parts are being looked at. So for example, in my family, there are seven people. And there are two girls in my family. So therefore, the numerator, if I ask how what fraction of my family is are girls, you would say that the numerator in that fraction would be two, because there are two girls. And then the last word we want to look at is denominator. And the denominator is how many equal parts there are in all. So going back to my example, I said there were seven people in my family. Two of them are girls. If I ask the question, what fraction of my family are girls, we would say two-sevenths. Two being the number of girls, the seven being the number of people in all. The two is the numerator, the seven is the denominator. This is what they look like on a fraction. The numerator always goes on top. Most of the time it will be a smaller number. The denominator goes on the bottom. Usually that is the bigger number of the two. All right, this is um, a number line. We can use it to show fractions. And sometimes this, this is just a line and we've broken it up into pieces. Now to set up a number line for a fraction, you need to num divide the line into the correct number of pieces. And we find this out by looking at the fraction's denominator. So over here, you can see that the denominator is 6. So what we need to do is we need to divide this line into 6 different pieces. There's 2 pieces, 3 pieces, 4 pieces, 5 pieces, and 6 pieces. 1 right here, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It's very, very important that you always count the pieces and not the lines here. You don't count the lines, you count the pieces. So one piece, two pieces, three pieces, four pieces, five pieces, and six pieces, just like we see here in the denominator. Then we're going to look at the uh, fraction's numerator, and we're going to count the number of spaces, and we're going to put a marker there to show that the fraction is, that's where the fraction goes on the number line. Our numerator here is four, so we're going to count four spaces. Here's one, two, three, four, and I'm going to put a marker right there to indicate that on this particular number line, we're looking at four sixths. There are six pieces, and we counted four, just like in the numerator. Okay, uh, again, to set up the number line, we need to divide it into the correct number of pieces that's indicated by the fraction's denominator. In this particular one, we're going to divide it into eight different sections. So now we have two sections, three sections, four sections, five, six, seven, and eight. If you look here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like you see there in our denominator. And then we're going to look at the numerator, and we're going to count the number of spaces. Remember, not the lines. We're going to count the spaces. Uh, that's shown in our numerator. In this particular case, since we're looking at 3 eighths, we're going to count three spaces. One, two, three, and we're going to put a marker right there to show 3 eighths. Eight spaces on the line altogether. We marked off three of them. All right, so let's do um, what we want to do here is we want to figure out how many uh, or what fraction we're looking at on this particular number line. So the first thing we're going to do is count the number of spaces on the line. So here's one, two, three, four. So our denominator is going to be four. And then we're going to count the spaces until we reach the marker. One, two, three. That is the numerator. So we put that there. And our fraction ends up being three fourths. All right, so let's do a little bit of review here. Uh, question number one. What word is used to tell the number of parts in a whole or parts in a group? Give you a second to figure that out. 
And if you chose fraction, you are correct. Question two, what word is used to tell what part of the whole or group is being looked at? And the answer here is the numerator. It's the number on top it tells you how many you're looking at. Question three, what word, what vocabulary word is used to tell how many pieces are in the group all together? That would be denominator. That's the number that we find on the bottom of the fraction. It's how many pieces we have in all. All right, let's take a look at this question number four. What fraction are we going to see on the number line? Well, the first thing we have to do, if you remember, is we're going to count the number of pieces we have. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five pieces all together on the number line. That's our denominator. And then we're going to count till we get to the marker. One, two. So two is our numerator. So the fraction you should be uh, saying is two-fifths. Okay, question five. Here we go again. What fraction is shown on this number line? I'll let you figure this one out. Okay, again, don't forget to count all of the pieces on the line. And then after you've done that, that's your denominator. Go ahead and count till you get to the marker. That'll be your numerator. Denominator goes on the bottom. Numerator goes on top. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pieces. So 8 is our denominator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven. We count until we got to the marker. There's seven. So the fraction that you, your fraction answer here should have been seven eighths, and that is fractions on a number line. All right. Some thanks go out to the font that I used to to make the letters. Uh, that was provided by a store called Love and Lit. Please visit their store at teacherspayteachers.com/store/loveandlit. And as always, thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. We're almost to 100 subscribers, and I would love to hit that number. And, of course, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And this has been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.